death to disasters, tragedies are hard to process. For children, it can be even more difficult to handle. And sometimes those children turn to their teachers for comfort and healing. WCBI's Alyssa Martin joins us in the studio now with more on how some local educators are learning to guide their students through a crisis. Alyssa. Andrea, for this group of school leaders, it's all about developing a plan of action when tragic events happen in their schools. Today, Tupelo and Lee County school administrators and counselors came together for a crisis management training conference. The educators say it's never easy to deal with the tragedy, but sometimes it's part of their job. It's a call that no teacher hopes to get, but sometimes it's part of their job. More than 60 school counselors and principals filled this conference room for a crisis management training session. The training gives them tools needed to better understand grief in their students and how to react if one of their own students were to pass away. As an administrator, we handle many, many events in kids' lives. And uh, unfortunately, throughout the years, I've had several students that have passed away. And this is just a gives us a plan to help them grieve and deal with the loss. Matthew Bunt works with the Amelia Crisis Center in Birmingham. He says one of the most important things he tells educators is to develop a plan on how to deal with crisis situations. When they have a plan to go into it with, they feel much more prepared and that allows for a healthier grieving environment for them and the, uh, the school students. Bunt says one of the main points he wants to teach is how important it is to maintain stability even during times of grief. A school has to be school, that it provides safety and routine and security for students. Um, and so when, when the whole schedule and the whole thing changes, that is more chaos than what's already going on. Those in attendance say this is a good way to sharpen their skills and continue learning. You know, this is a servant uh, job. This is a ser servant career, so we want to be able to serve the people that we're responsible for. We want to be able to serve them in every area, not just the educational part. They have some tough situations. We want to be able to help them get over them. And the Amelia Center is partnered with the Children's of Alabama Hospital. For more information on their resources, just head on over to our website, WCBI.com. Alyssa Martin in our studio with that story for us.